What is up everybody, in today's Hookah Talks video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make some homemade grommets for just about any of your silicone or rubber grommets for your hookah, um, your, you know, your hose, your bowl, your down stem, all those grommets, 25% battery, whatever. Um, I'm going to put my coals on real quick, don't have my hose in uh, at this moment, but I need to make a homemade grommet for that, so that's the reason for me not to uh, have it in. And I'll teach you guys how to check this as well. So I'm just going to put these four coals on my funnel. So it could heat up the shisha while we make the grommet. Because it doesn't take that much time or effort. Alright, turn off the hot plate. Here we go. Alright, so I've already taken the liberty to cut this liver off, but we're not going to need all this. If you're using a KM, Caravan, or a Regal, or something like that, you might need a little bit more paper towels, like a whole sliver like this, but since I'm using my homemade hookah, I don't need a lot of paper towels, but it varies if you're using a, a bowl or a base grommet especially. Um, but all I'm using is this. I cut it off like so. So if you have a KM or something, it's going to be longer. And then I just fold it in half to increase the amount uh, there is. So there's a little bit more uh, cushion, essentially. Um, the next step is you get your hose, for me, or you could use your base or your, uh, your bowl. And you're going to wrap this around that, whatever that is. So the top of your down stem for the bowl, you'd wrap it around that. Or for the bottom of your down stem, you'd wrap it around that. Um, we're just going to have to dampen this so get some spit in our mouth. I use spit because it just sticks a little bit better than water. Alright. And these are pretty shitty paper towels, alright. So I can't pull too tight without these things ripping. So if you do do this, um, don't really go for the off-brand stuff. You know, you want some name-brand stuff because I'm not hating on this, but um, this stuff is real, real thin. So you kind of want something a little bit more cushiony, uh, so it just sticks in the hook a little bit better. Once you're done with this, I just spin the top so uh, no extra is like hanging out, and I just dampen the whole thing with my tongue. All right, spin it one more time like I do, and then I go over to my hookah without knocking over the coals and burning myself. Uh, I hold where the seam mark is. And I stick it in the hookah. And I spin gently as I push in gently. And as you can see, this thing is part of the hookah now. Um, I'll get the clouds going and I'll show you guys how to test this uh, homemade grommet. Let me get my wind cover on here so I can get a little bit more heat. And I'll start smoking. You get a little bit more milky so you can actually possibly see if this thing is leaking or not, whatnot. But um, right now, it's I don't think it's leaking at all. Um, sounds right, hitting right. For those who all don't know about my uh, Crown Royal hookah right here, um, I made videos. There it is, and that is the homemade grommet. Couple more hits and it should be getting decently milky. Um, but how we are going to test this if you are having a traditional hookah, KM, Caravan, Regal, anything like that, um, if you know about my purge port, it doesn't have a ball BB in there, so I, a ball bearing, I mean, I have to take my whole purge port out to purge this hookah. So I can um, leave mine in here and test it the way you need to test it, but if you have a traditional hookah that has a, a ball bearing where the purge port is so whenever you purge um, you don't have to take it out obviously um, you're gonna need to take off the cap in the BB and you're gonna need to plug the uh, purge port with your finger or 
some tape or something if you don't want to hold it and you're gonna have to lightly blow into this like just barely blow into it you're not if you blow real real hard as if you were to purge actually um, you're gonna force all the water into your down stem and it's gonna get into your shisha and it's gonna get into your coals and you're gonna ruin your session essentially I've done it like twice and it just kills the session okay so this is pretty much good enough right now so like I was saying if you have a traditional hookah with a ball bearing in there, take that out, take the cap out, and plug it. And what we're going to do, if, if there's any kind of leak within this grommet, we're going to be able to see it because there's going to be a little bit of smoke coming out. So I'm going to look. I'm just lightly blowing, just a little bit of air, because if there is any leak anywhere within the hookah you're gonna be able to see it for the most part um, that's pretty much it okay this works real real good um, if you have leaky grommets or something you know you you may go to purge your hookah uh, and you think everything's good but it, this is if you're using a silicone grommet um, you'll notice a little bit of smoke that comes out of the hose port and it's not supposed to do that or same goes with the base you know you'll find a little bit of um, smoke in between where the grommet and the down stem and the base all meet um, that, like, tiny air leaks like that, for the most part, like, I, for my first hookah, I had a little bit of air leakage here and there, but for the most part, it didn't do anything until my hose port actually cracked, and it was, like, unenjoyable, but that's another story, um, for the most part, little leaks like that won't completely ruin your session, uh, it, they don't really do anything that I find, it's, like, actual fractures within the downstem or something like that, um, but this is a real, real good way to just, if you're especially strapped for cash, you know, you just need some paper towels to make a grommet. Clouds are getting up there. But that's how you guys make a homemade grommet, and that is how you test it. If you do find any leaks, like little smoke, little smoke little things coming out of your uh, homemade grommet, you're either, you're either going to have to uh, double up a little bit, just wrap it a little bit more um, or just kind of play with how it is uh, you might need to actually shove a little bit of the paper towel in first into the hose port and then stick your hose in it but for me since I am rocking this crown royal hookah um, I've tried doing that and it just doesn't want to fit properly so I have to wrap it around the actual hose port adapter um, and then stick it in the hose port <laughs> a lot of words Good clouds. Um, anyways, guys, that is how you make a homemade grommet. Keep on smoking hookah. Have a wonderful day.